Name drop. Thick-faced Sussex affectedly very private approach as Kate take much larger role. Prince Harry and Meghan failed to publicly send a message to the Duchess of Cambridge when she recently turned 40. This led many royal fans to wonder if Meghan and Harry even said happy birthday to Kate Middleton. Despite initial confusion, a royal expert has now spoken in defense of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and confirmed that the royal couple had a private Zoom call with their sister-in-law. Royal expert, Christopher Anderson, told US Weekly, they did a video call. They wished her a happy birthday. It was, very private. Harry and Meghan were not about to post anything the way they did two years ago. Before they moved away from social media and still used some platforms for royal duties, the couple wished Kate a happy 38th birthday publicly on Twitter. A tweet said, wishing a very happy birthday to the Duchess of Cambridge today, which also included a cake and heart emoji. The author added that in comparison to the Duchess' 38th birthday, this time everything was kept private. The Royal Insider also revealed that rather than celebrating this milestone birthday with a lavish party, Kate opted for a low-key celebration at her Norfolk home, Amna Hall. The birthday party was held at Anma Hall with family and friends. She only has a very small circle of friends, Kate does, and one of the interesting things they do is bake their own cake. Although Kate's celebration may have been very relaxed and involved homemade cake, her husband Prince William is expecting a larger celebration when he turns 40 later this year. The Queen has a big thing planned for, William, and he is going to throw something as well said Christopher. So, there will be big parties again, if Covid allows anything like that to happen. This year is already set to be a big one for Her Majesty who is preparing to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee later this year in June. However, as Prince William is high in the royal line of succession, it is expected that his milestone birthdays would be celebrated with a bit of a flair, meaning the royals will have a lot to celebrate this year. Kate the Duchess of Cambridge has embraced her position of peacemaker between the brothers who have been going through a rift over the past few years. Kate has been increasingly played a pivotal position in the royal family, adopting larger roles as the monarchy has skimmed down to a certain extent. Author Christopher Anderson discussed the Duchess' new position, as he suggested Prince William and Kate will visit the US soon and reconcile with Prince Harry. Mr. Anderson said, I think this is just another positioning of Kate as a future queen as someone who's going to be taking on a much larger role with William as Harry and Meghan are out of the picture. Kate really plays such a pivotal role in what's what's happening now and as the peacekeeper is the person who's trying to bring Harry and her husband back together. In the coming year, I think, it's pretty obvious that they're going to be coming to the United States because the Earthshot Prize, the Environmental Award, is going to be awarded here. They have hired in something called a Visits and Events Manager or they're hiring one who will be scheduling presumably a lot of overseas trips this year. He continued, the Queen is physically not capable of doing all that much and so William and Kate will be called on to pick up the slack. At Prince Philip's funeral at Windsor Castle, the eyes of the media were on Prince William and Prince Harry as they came together after a year to bid their last goodbye to their grandfather. Kate appeared to act as a mediator when the brothers were leaving St. George's Chapel by starting a conversation between them. Chapel.